Hello folks, welcome to another video by that brilliant expat tablet. Another video that's going to provide more irrefutable evidence that NASA faked the moon landings and never sent anyone to the moon. Now, just remember this. NASA is the only company in the world, the only company in the world, folks, that pays out millions of dollars every year to multiple shells to convince the world of their acclaimed success. Now, if they had succeeded in any mission, then there'd be no need to do that. No other company does it, only NASA. And just remember, folks, that money they are paying out is money that NASA have fraudulently stolen from the American taxpayer. Okay, folks, the photo we are going to be concerned with in this video is this one here. Supposed to be Buzz Aldrin on the moon. AS11-40-5873. Now, I've done many videos that show that this photo is 100% fake. There are numerous anomalies with this Buzz Aldrin. But what was the most recent discovery the brilliant expat Taffy made with this photo, folks, is, as I've shown in my last two videos, where this Buzz Aldrin is supposed to have an aerial, he has not got an aerial, but he has got two very important whistleblower's clues. One being the head of a white teddy bear. Now, first thing to notice with this photo, it's been Adobe Photoshopped and was made with Photoshop 3, which wasn't introduced into America until the year 2007, folks. So this photo is a fake photo made after 2007. Okay, folks, use that Buzz Aldrin cropped and zoomed up. There you are, folks. Look at the arrows at the top. And there you are. There's a close-up view of it. There's a real close-up, folks. Now, does that look like a radio aerial to you? Now, according to the numbskull, Mysterial Mystery, the three dots, which is the two eyes and the nose, according to that mentally insane idiot, they are simply three Prestons. <laughs> I noticed he didn't have anything to say about the fingers sticking up. Now, folks, what I can tell you is, within one week of me displaying these very, very important whistleblower's clues, this photo of Buzz Aldrin was taken down by NASA and replaced with a new edited photo that tries to get rid of this evidence here, the white teddy bear's head and the hand. And that brought rejection from all the NASA nutters who claim that I personally drew in this hand and this white teddy bear. Well, I'm going to provide you with irrefutable evidence now that NASA took that photo down after just one week and re-edited it. They altered the photo, and I'm going to provide you with evidence of that and other evidence of fakery as well. Now, folks, as I said, when I displayed that white teddy bear in that hand, that must have been a hell of a bloody embarrassment for NASA. They must have felt like the most stupid bloody idiots of any company in the world. And it brought immediate reaction. What I had was a post from one of their shills, Silent Hunter, giving me a link to what he claimed was their photo. But what it is, folks, it's a link to their altered photo, which I am going to prove to you now. Now, 
Now, getting back to this photo here, 5873, where I've just shown you NASA have made alterations to disguise the white teddy bear and the human hand. I'm going to show you a couple more anomalies that will force NASA to make <laughs> If you look at this one, take a close look at his leg. He's got a dirty left leg and it's got the letter F on it. And here it is up close for you to see. He's got a letter F on his left leg. Now, this is supposed to be Buzz Aldrin, 5873, and with this letter F on his leg, but yet, 30 shots later, yes, 30 shots later, folks, how long could that be? Maybe 15 minutes? And take a look at him 30 shots later. Here you are. It's supposed to be the same Buzz Aldrin, 30 shots later, and look at his left leg now. There's no sign of a letter F on it. And he's sparkling bright. He looks as if he just jumped out of a Hoover washing machine and had two packets of Purcell thrown in. And these are supposed to be the same astronaut, the same suits. Well, I'm going to show you another serious anomaly proving that they are not the same. There you are, folks. Here's that 5903 Buzz Aldrin standing up. And look at the top of the pack where the aerial should be. Can you see any sign of a white teddy bear and a human hand and four fingers sticking up? Or can you see any sign of uh, half a white teddy bear and no human hand and no fingers? No, there is no trace of any of it there at all. So how could it be the same astronaut? Now, what I've done... folks what I've done here for you I've got the top of the pack for the famous Buzz Aldrin photo 5903 and for the altered version of this 5873 where they've tried to disfigure the head of the white teddy bear and re <laughs> can't claim they are both the same astronauts on the moon, folks. <laughs> Most probably the title will be How to Shut Up NASA Nutcases and Send Them Packing for Good. <laughs> 